saying that any attempt by people with power to impose Galamse activities anywhere within the German community will be met with the toughest fight. For Channel 1 TV News, I'm a question in German in the Awain. Mr. Who video be the Mahe? Video William Crabbe show a serious and say Galamse and Abetu Janko for Beardy Hong Common. Who begin is a gun a crubby digima, sell crun, a mutime mindful. Any painful room, a so mon pegalam si, be seen next to say a cassi, Jema Crunoso, Galamsin Coso. Now call her moon sooner, a new fennel. A sign you sway a betuja, time one, a year and painful ah or more a war a year a one TV, a dear dasono, on from a one last channel one TV, a copy mu a war a year jemaho. Now on more say, eh, say illegal mine a near a year galamsin, whom some my year can also send the media swa a co at the sea was and temple temni bono the babiano. Jema kuruli muno, omusu wa mumpe, ampe ni ampa ni ni ya ni ampa, ubien huwa wati maye e ye galamse e wose e kuruli muno. Na sedi omusu wune niye feno, eno kwa ni kumeno. Yehye video ni ba, ne mumu ye bompe nifu wa moho abaso, omaya adie pa, nyami enkoso entu wa mungu kwa enemu. Jema is a prominent cocoa growing community in the Awin municipality of the western north region, where many locals rely on cocoa farming for their livelihoods. Upon entering the town, a large sign that reads Jema No Galamse greets visitors reflecting the community's firm stance against illegal mining. Amidst all the chaos we've seen within the country in terms of the pollution and destruction of water bodies, all because of the activities of illegal small scale mining, generally referred to as uh, Galamse, that is seriously devastating water bodies in the country. One, co one particular community called Jema in the Awin uh, municipality actually stands, stands out. They are actually doing something different with their Jema anti-illegal uh, Galamse advocacy CSO, which is actually making sure that this community doesn't experience the, the devastation from Galamse. And as you can see, at the heart of the community, they have a signage that is boldly written on it, no prospecting on mining. Uh, Jema lands, and it's a clear, uh, I mean, caution to anybody with any intention or plans to actually uh, do uh, illegal small-scale money within this catchment. And I'm told, as a result of the activities, water bodies within this area, unlike the places that we have been, is so clean. I have one of the key, I mean, proponents of this Jema anti-Galamsi advocacy uh, committee here to tell me how did they come about this very anti. Galamse committee. Uh, Reverend, Reverend is a minister or a, a father and uh, uh, he's here to actually tell us why the German anti-Galamse uh, advocacy CSO and what has been the success story so far. Well, thank you very much. I think the, the motivation behind it is because Jema is a farming community and we've seen what is happening in all our neighboring towns all the way from Enchi to the last town at Simkrum where they have devastated their land because of Galamse. So we have educated the people and the youth have accepted that Galamse is not good. They want to hold on to farming, cocoa farming and any other alternative uh, uh, livelihood. So we have to just form this society and then register it as a legal person so we can stand firm and then stand for our values and vision. How did you manage to get the people to buy into it? And even with the chiefs, because we know these days when you go to other places, you see chiefs actually leading in the, in the handing over of their parcels of, I mean, lands for the activities of Galamse and taking huge sums of money. How did you get the chiefs and the ordinary people, the youth who claim they don't have work to, to buy into this, I mean, uh, CSO? Yeah, that is very true. But I think it's the education. I, I came way back in 2015, then again in 2019, I met the whole community. I explained to them with my own researches in other communities where Galamse has devastated them. And I showed them videos and uh, news and the interviews I did with people to know that the thing is not good for the people. I understand you, you, have a, you did a PhD research work on uh, anti Galamse, I mean, Galamse activity. Exactly. I, what, what did you What did you find out? Yeah, I did a study called the phenomenological study of uh, Galamse, that is anti-sanal gold mining in Ghana. Is it poverty alleviation or poverty aggravation? So I did a field work six months, uh, six weeks at Wasaginyawa, where you have all the aspects of Galamse, and then my findings is what came for my dissertation. 
So that is uh, Reverend uh, Minister, Reverend Father, who is actually leading this um, Ijema anti uh, illegal uh, Galamsey advocacy here. So that has actually been operational over here and making sure that their water bodies and their land resources are not devastated. And for that matter, very soon we'll be making our way to the river, some of the riverside within the Caribbean to confirm whether or not their advocacy is actually uh, keeping their uh, water resources and the environment that clean, unlike the places that we have been. So let's, let's take a walk to some of the riverside around Jema. Uh, just to confirm what the German members actually told us about what has been the result of the advocacy in Jema. We have come to one of the close by river uh, bodies here uh, and I'm here with one of the uh, the executive, I'm told the chairman of the advocacy group to, to, to see the state of water bodies over here, which is as a result of the advocacy. Uncle, um, what river is this? We are alongside the river of uh, Ateka. We call it Ateka. Yes. And this is a uh, part of the rivers that we have here. We fish in it. We use it for domestic uh, purposes. We use it for farming activities. So it's very, very essential for the people of Jima. How did you manage to do this? We did it because uh, we saw that Galamse has devastated every, almost every land around our mean. And so we have to protect our land because this water, if we destroy it, we cannot no longer get it anymore. And if we destroy our lands, God is not going to create another land for us. So we need to protect what God has given us. What it is that uh, we have a bad loss. And fortunately enough, the whole community has come together, chief and the elders, Ladies and um, men we've all come together that we don't want Galamsey. So we have some law, bad law in place. And beside that, we have some men to also take care of our land so that nobody can enter or penetrate. And that is how we, we, we've gone about. Yes. So, I mean, that is, I mean, the, the, but I just want to find out how, or just check for myself how clean this water is comparing with what I saw in the Tano River uh, before I got here. I want to find out whether this is truly clean. Oh, officer, um, as, as you are fetching, <laughs> I want to drink some for you to see that. I must, say, I must say there is no difference between this and uh, the bottled water that we've been seeing on the streets uh, of uh, major cities, and uh, it's very clean. What, what for you should be the way forward in making sure that uh, this is protected? Yes. If you can. So for me, I would say that what Jema has done should be a template for other communities. And like when anybody does something good, everybody can adopt it. So what we have done, if government is going to give us its support so that other communities can adopt it, we are ready to share our template so that when the youth are together, government supporting, everybody supporting, it's not too late to even safeguard those lands that have been devastated. This is Atinkanzue, one of the clean, I mean, river, uh, or should I say streams, in the catchment of Jema. And I'm told this is the very place that the community fetches water a lot. It's so clean that the officer will fetch for us to see. It looks so clean, and I must say, uh, this is so special. You can see the man drinking from River Atinkanzue. Uh, Zue means uh, water in the uh, the language over here, the Awin language, Zue. This is our thinking Zue. So, this is one of the cleanest water the community is. I mean, depending on like the polluted water that we've seen on our way here from Elubo. And uh, I mean, look, look at how clean it is. It tells that uh, it's doable. You can see my palm very much clean, and it's all because of the advocacy by the Jema anti uh, illegal small scale mining over here. And uh, it's, it's really producing results, looking at the water that is in my palm. In Sweeney, dear, I may have done my half one penny for my bone home buying. I may sure no a moot and my own a son. In tea, Galancy, any had a denyamia said Galancy, any had. And no, my and need you are. And I to three and per se guarantee, but no guarantee by and crown a best say, won't even go school. So, over here, we have students who just closed from school and they are here uh, drinking from the street. And as you can see, 
uh, they are drinking all because of the fact that it is very much clean. And it tells you that uh, the, the things that the community leaders are doing is actually benefiting the generality of the public, including these students who have actually come uh, after school and taken fresh water from the Atenkanzule. This is River Subo Subo, one of the river bodies that is deemed very clean uh, and it's just about four kilometers away from the community and it's still uh, very much clean because of the activities of the uh, Jema Anti Galamse Advocacy CSO. And I just want to over here to check if it is truly uh, clean and so I'll be fetching it. But I can say that as I'm fetching, I can see. I mean, fishes or fingerlings very much under uh, the water. And look at it. It looks just like my bottle of water that I was drinking from this very uh, river. And uh, it tells you that it is really uh, doable when it comes to protecting our uh, water bodies from the activities of Galamse, uh, which is devastating water bodies and uh, land resources all across the country and the call from here is that people should look at what German community is doing and do same within their communities to prevent or stop the continuous devastation of our water bodies as well as land resources. So I'm here with some of the youths uh, here in German to find out about their take on this whole anti galamse advocacy that is going on over here that is helping to protect their water bodies over here. And I just want to find out from them whether they also share this idea. Uncle, you're frozen. But Jeff, I'm I'm going to say that I'm say that I'm going to 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 say that Eribu to anti Bimoji to Bajima, say the area is in Jin to soon soon over say soon and you are anti and Jin to say away. Yam Pekalam say because Yam Pesse in so best say because in so high in a clean Pesse best say. Yap paid the way in so in city Galam say Galam say I say uncle for be brass I say I'm uncle for be bray I shall move near my be bray. It me bread, it me a sky cracker. Seven, yet you want to go and say, so I'm about this time. Can yet be any and get to be any now say, and can you say, I ever saw, and then I'm her sister could conti. Says, yeah, yet me, yeah, yeah, through our local FMs over here, and we are educating people concerning about how the Galamse is harmful to human health, especially our farmland and everything that's uh, supposed to be for a humanity. So we are educating them, and we are still continuing to educate them. And we are also heading towards by the power vested in us as assemblyman. And uh, we have the category we have combined with the police over here because we have a police station in our community here. I have combined with them and I have also sat down with them and talked to them that uh, we don't expect that and don't want, we don't want it. So we don't want anybody to come here so that you come and, I mean, uh, bring other heads or uh, her machines. If we see you, we will never spare you. The chief of Jema. Nana Enoku Ano, despite being bedridden, continues to stand firm against Galamse pressures. Speaking to us from his sick bed, he disclosed how he turned down multiple offers, including a vehicle and a promise of medical treatment in South Africa, all in exchange for allowing illegal mining in Jama. <laughs> Only 
Mia Umbaya or Castle, home the car of Kunkamo, Dickaness, anywhere. No catch almost say, Me here, the Sunday Monina. Me here, Dutchy. In prison, my sister will say, Now, me here, that you say, Manana Mina Guia, Musa. No, Miss Asna, I am from a walk with thee. Jomia Mangasaomo. The next one, almost some by the same China for whom this guy the way. They say, Sis Candy, I cost seven billion. Um, very good. I could be more. Now catch on, sir. Missing me here, Dachin. No Dachin, Menon, no mina, no Vanessa, I ask not, sir. I found over good. Inti dashin si na mka chomo mse mnye chomo kanya mnye omo omo so ndimbe kosa Africa na mnye kwa kofia sa Africa on ndimbe kuni omo kanya so many problems mankaza omo mnye msi pise mnye kwa msi ndi so mwa be kan kwa mpa anya dia mcha tum inti mnye ndum. So that is the clarion call from the youth and people of uh, Jema in the Western North. They are saying that any attempt by people with power to impose Galamse activities anywhere within the Jema community will be met with the toughest fight. For Channel 1 TV News, I'm Akosia Jema in the Awin.